The first stage in the process is going to be to identify the middle of your photograph. So if you fold it into four sections, okay, you've got your centre point. Okay, now we're going to be working on blocking out the composition first and then working on refining as the drawing goes through. So looking at this composition, I've got leading lines coming down um, almost into a V shape. I've got um, a bird's eye view. So the cartoons are straight on and not in perspective. That would make this a little bit easier to draw. I've also got a variety of sweets in, the, in a pile. So you can see, um, we've got cylinders and we've got cubes which we're going to be able to draw in a 3D way so this is a good choice of photograph so on your piece of paper you're going to identify your centre point okay now if you wanted to just add very light lines so that you've got quarters that might be helpful but don't draw these with a ruler because they will be too dark and you won't be able to rub them out now looking at this if it's a little bit overwhelming you can just look at a quarter okay and in that way you can think well um the kind of two key points where it's going across on each edge would just give you a, a little bit of a starting point now hold your pencil quite far down so that you're getting some nice soft lines and you need to start thinking about proportions so i can see here that's about a third a third a third with these two being slightly bigger so i'm kind of trying to proportion it as much as i can and just roughly block out where those shapes are going to be. At this point, I'm not particularly worrying about things like writing. I'm just going to block out where the white writing would be. So that's the start of the word licorice. And then we've got all sorts. So I'm going to do, do the A. And that's going to come over to about here. So very quickly, you've got your basic composition sketched in without tracing. So you're learning the skills that you need to do to become a really good artist. OK, at this point, I might think, well, I'm, I am going to sketch the rough outline of the letters trying to get them in the diagonal so you can use your pencil to trace down the angles okay obviously you need to have your picture um parallel okay so i've got that angle about right i'm gonna put the a in and then i'm going to sketch the rest of the four quarters in this way so again that should join up I'm going to put a couple of little dashes where the sweets are and that's probably about all I need. So you can see, you know, six dashes and that's going to help me proportion this section really well. So again, I could trace the angle. I'm kind of looking where the... Um, different shapes are going to be and I'm going to do that first sketch layer all over the drawing. The next stage in the process is going to be to refine your drawing. Now we're going to take each section at a time as we did before and we're going to look at the 3D qualities, 
the um, images on the packaging, the images on the background, and we're going to be refining our drawing. Now you'll notice up until this point I've only used a pencil, I've not done any rubbing out, so I'm going to be using the rubber at this point. Most of the drawing that I've actually got down is going to be erased once I put in slightly more defined lines. Now that doesn't mean I'm necessarily going to be pressing harder. You can still keep the lines quite soft. But also you don't want additional lines because when we come to do the paint, they're going to be showing through as the paint is quite transparent. So you can see I'm holding the pencil much further down this time, so I've got more control. I'm thinking about tone and then adding in extra little details that I didn't see last time because I was focusing on the form. Now to make it easier for me to see, I'm going to add a little bit of tone onto the lines in the background so that it looks different to the foreground so that I've got two different sort of styles going on. That's going to help me a little bit later on when we come to do the painting aspect. So as you can see, I'm being a little bit more faithful to the really specific shapes that I can see. And if I need to have two or three attempts to get it perfect, then that's what I'm going to do. OK, now you can see um, I'm actually working at a slower pace than I did last time on the first layer. So this time I'm trying to be more deliberate in the marks that I'm making. I'm not thinking so much about where I'm placing things because I know from the original sketch that I did that the objects are in the correct place. They just need to be refined. So it's not wasting your time doing your planning drawing. Okay, it's actually quite helpful when you come to this stage that that thinking was already done. So you're only thinking about how you draw the shape of these letters, for example. Okay, so I'm gonna begin work on this bottom section. Now you might wanna unfold your photograph when you're doing the joined section. Okay, you can fold it slightly differently so that you can get the continuation. So looking here, I know that I need to carry the S on, okay, um, from that A to make the, the graphics on this packet make a little bit more sense. Okay, so you can look at and evaluate this section to see, okay, have I got this line the right angle? Okay, do I need to move it up? Are there any other details in there that I haven't put in? Um, how do I need to refine the background, etc.? Okay, when we're looking at this sweet section, okay, we need to start thinking about the form. So here we've got a cylinder with the side of the cylinder here. Here we've got a cuboid, um, we've got some cubes, 
okay and then again the cuboid here so really think about the structure of the suites if you need to draw on top of your photo just to identify okay where the side of the cylinder is to make it a little bit easier for you to see then you're welcome to do that so I'm actually going to start in this section where it comes out of the middle of the sweets. So here I've just got a square that I'm looking down on and another one here. So I don't need to draw the sides because I can't see the sides of those two cubes because I'm looking directly down from above. Okay, but use the place marker of this point here to draw your cylinder. Okay, so you've got the side of the cylinder and then an ellipse. Now, no ellipses have pointy corners, so if we can remember not to do that, that would be good. We'll just tidy up all the unnecessary sketching lines from before. I'm just going to rub that section out because it's a little bit muddled. There's too many lines and I can't work out what's going on. Now what I'm going to do here, I can see a triangle in the... background okay so that's negative space so I'm looking on my drawing to see if that negative space is the correct shape now that is going to give me the line of the side of this suite okay and again the cylinder I'm seeing it from above okay so that's going to be the side of the cylinder So I'm just constantly checking everything's lining up because if you get one thing off then the whole drawing will be um, not very really accurate. So again when I'm sketching a circle I'm trying to go round and round. Okay I'm not pressing hard when I'm doing these I want to be quite um, draw quite quickly so that I can get that accurate shape in. Okay, if I, if I press too hard, it's just never going to look accurate. So I'm going to be looking at the side of this packet. And I'm going to be looking at small bits of detail. Okay, so here I'm varying my line quality. I'm pressing hard and soft to give it a little bit more texture. Okay, some of these marks are gonna show through your drawing, so um, through your painting. Okay, so if you want to be a little bit more expressive with your lines, then that's okay, as long as they're not the same. If it's a heavy outline everywhere, it's not gonna look very effective in the end.
not too worried about this writing. I'm pretty much doing it in my own handwriting. Okay, I think that's going to be a little bit easier because at least it's going to be the same and consistent. Nobody's going to see the source that you're looking at. So it's probably better that the writing is the correct height and the correct size. Even if it's not the correct font. Okay, so I think it's time to just zoom out a second and have a look at the whole drawing and just analyse any sections that need to be refined a little bit more. So this section here seems quite empty. Now I can see what I think is a sweet that I haven't drawn. Okay, and I'm not going to do the details too much because it's a silhouette. So one final thing that you can do to refine is actually put your drawing a different way up to the one that you drew it. Because you are going to see any imperfections a lot easier because you haven't been looking at it. So you're almost tricking yourself into really, you know, comparing the angles Okay, because they're going to be different to when you originally put them down. So just check if you put it upside down, you might just be able to spot the areas a little bit more easily. Okay, now I think that's looking pretty good. Um, I don't think I've done too much work on this packet. But I can add any, any extras in once it comes to the painting section. Okay, so you're aiming for a really refined outline drawing with good line quality. So you're refining how sketchy it is. You're refining um, where the shapes are, where the negative space is, and you're really trying to get the sweets looking three-dimensional.